Gentlemen, start your engine. It was tough to find anyone more well-known in January of 1994 than Troy Aikman. The quarterback of the Super Bowl champion Dallas Cowboys was not only known on the field, but off it too. To top it off, the Cowboys returned to the Super Bowl with a rematch against the Buffalo Bills on the horizon. The opposite could be said at the time about Sterling Marlin. Marlin, who started his Winston Cup career in 1976, had been driving full-time in the series since 1987. He had shown flashes of success over the past few years, but had not yet found victory lane in a points-paying race. The upcoming Super Bowl brought the two together, and they quickly formed an unlikely friendship. The two met through a mutual friend, and Aikman invited Marlin to the Super Bowl as his guest in January of 1994. Marlin, who was a former high school quarterback, was a big football fan and watched up close as the Cowboys beat the Bills 30-13, capturing their second consecutive Super Bowl victory. Marlin would return the favor and asked Aikman to be his guest at the upcoming Daytona 500. Aikman agreed and told Marlin, You brought me some luck, maybe I can bring you some too. Aikman attended the race as a guest of Marlin decked out in a Kodak film pit crew uniform and watched the race from the pits. As the race progressed, Aikman headed home early, but quickly changed his tune once he found out what was happening at the track. I had watched most of the race, but left and headed to the airport near the end of the race to beat traffic, Aikman said. But when I heard on the radio that Sterling had taken the lead, I turned around and came back. I wasn't going to miss this finish. Marlin, who took the checkered flag for the first time in his career, was ecstatic in victory lane and gave credit to his good luck charm of a friend. I'd lost 278 races without him here, then won the first one he attended, Marlin said. Shoot, I may call Jerry Jones and see if I can hire Troy to be a full-time member of our team. Aikman, on the other hand, praised Marlin's success. It made me happier seeing Sterling win today than when we won the Super Bowl. The two champions continued to stay at the forefront of their respective worlds as Marlin went on to match Aikman with back-to-back -back victories of his own, winning the Daytona 500 once again in 1995. The Cowboys missed out on returning to the Super Bowl that season, but captured the Super Bowl once again in 1996 with Marlin in attendance. When asked if the two consecutive Daytona 500s had made him as famous as his three-time Super Bowl champion friend, Marlin laughed and said, nah, he can't go anywhere. <laughs>